What's up, everyone? Maury Croson here with the Performance Lab of California. We're going to do another breakdown here today on Kurt Warner, one of the, um, I mean, a Hall of Fame qu quarterback, so a, a excellent, um, you know, all-time quarterback. Uh, you know, the the whole breakdown will go into much more of, like, the deep parts of, of the of the throw. He had, obviously, a high-powered offense when, um, when he played for the Rams, and uh, even when he played for the the Cardinals, had another high powered offense there as well. So um, got a lot of deep balls, and thought we'd we'd be able to go into more depth on that. He he is very good at throwing the deep ball, very accurate dude. Um, we can see, I mean, a lot of the same type of things here. So you know, one of the things that is very very important as a quarterback is you got to be able to get this first lateral shift in your body weight, and then be able to transfer that to a, a rotational movement in your um and really your whole body starting with how you move in your ankles and how you move in your hips and how you move in your spine and when you do that especially if you get a little bit more rotation in your lower body first now you're going to be able to get into a little bit of extension within the lumbar spine by getting some lumbar spine extension you could then put a little bit better greater stretch onto your shoulder which will help you with your overall throw and so that's what we'll kind of go through here is how kurt warner does that so um what we see is that that step off of that that back leg. See how he starts now. Once he gets that leg down, now he starts to rotate first. It goes into his lower body, or, or yeah, lower body into his hips. And you can see how that then makes it so he he rotates in um, his his lumbar spine. And now that's going to make it so you can put a greater amount of stretch on that shoulder as he's coming through. And then once it's from there, it's all about just being able to create a, a good amount of uh, of continual action continual movement not have not be able to, to, to get in your own way essentially because what he does really good here and he has a bit of an elbow elbow drop so i'd actually say that his mechanics could probably get a little bit better here actually just because he might put a little bit more uh pressure on the elbow than he'd want to but yeah he gets a good amount of extension and then what ends up happening here is that he can get all the way around and all the way through on onto his front leg so he's very strong on that on that front leg and he actually kind of has like a slight lean over the side you can see a lot of times what i see when, when um from this moment you know it's actually uh, it is difficult to get to this moment in the actual throw but then well, there's quarterbacks that also can get to this moment but then cannot continue all the way through the throw and be able to put a, a large amount of velocity into their throw and be able to then decelerate. And you can see that that Kurt Warner does that very well, and that's why he's able to um, play at the level that he's able to play at. So let's go to this next one here. Stepping up a little bit. We'll see much of the same thing. So I mean, it takes a, uh, you got to take a little bit bigger stride when you're taking a uh, when you're going to throw deep. The reason being is you need more lateral shift. So there's more movement side to side when he's going through that that deep throw. So he's going all the way. He's, he's shifting laterally. See, so he goes here. He reaches out. That's the lateral shift. Now he's going into a rotational shift. It's actually a little bit better to get that front foot down before you begin the rotational shift just because then you have a little bit more power on that front leg. He doesn't do that, but um, it still ends up working out for him. So you want to get that front leg down. Then you get the rotation, the front part of, of his uh, hips. You can see right here, see how his front part of the hips really initiate the rotation. So now he's moving there. His, front, his, uh, his hips are now basically facing straight ahead. Now he's trying to catch um, the the front arm up with him and notice what he does with the front arm so he kind of reaches straight ahead and then look how he pulls back hard with that front elbow we always are trying to talk about this in the lab pull back hard with that front elbow to make it so then you can get a good amount of rotation coming through and he does an excellent job of getting all the way through with the rotation and then ends up leaning off to the side a little bit when he goes through the the throne and kind of um you know follows up off to the to the side so um an interesting strategy in how he really finishes the throw, I think, would be um, a, a thing to, to take away from here. And then also, you know, just another guy who's able to get a lot of um, a lot of force out of that lower body and, and gets that, that good disassociation. I mean, it all becomes, you know, it, it's very important to be able to move in that lower body first, then be able to get rotation in the upper body. Notice again that pullback with that front elbow. See that front elbow? That's a great thing you can take away from Kurt Warner. Really reaching out and then pulling straight back. And he's using that pull to really accelerate in the um, in that 
that back arm, that right arm, to make it so that he can come through and, um, and and throw the ball with a lot of velocity. And then notice how he also comes off to the side to make it so that's how he helps his deceleration. I think the deceleration is also an important thing to not necessarily replicate. I think the front elbow you definitely want to replicate as a quarterback, but I think it's something to consider as a quarterback is how am I working on the, the deceleration of the throw and how do am I um, sure that I'm getting all of my momentum and all of my weight all the way through when I'm, I'm going through the throw. So, um, yeah, great, interesting breakdown here on Kurt Warner. He, he's definitely one of the, the premier passers in the, um, you know, in NFL history. I made it to the Hall of Fame, so you can only, you know, be a, you have to be a great quarterback in order to make it to the Hall of Fame. And I think uh, Kurt Warner definitely is part of that, uh, that category. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching these videos. If you want to find out more about our five-month online throw program, reach out to us. It, it contains these breakdowns for you personally. We work on your deep ball. We work on your ability to just work on, on overall mechanics. We also go from a strength perspective, making it so you can really focus in and hone in on developing your shoulders. We've been doing this for about two months now, have over 40 quarterbacks in the program. It's been very, very successful, really been um, enjoying the whole process and uh, looking forward to bringing more and more guys on it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, Maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com, or we have a link in the description below uh, to find out more. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and reach out to me. Again, my email is Maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com. Thanks, and I will see you guys soon.